Hey everybody, welcome back to Epic Specials. Alright, it's time for another Assassin update. I think I've done enough progress to give you something worth looking at. So let's have a look. So, I think since the last time you saw an update, I've done the front arches. So I have now completed the rear arches. Well, in filler that is. Obviously not finished finished. Done the insides too. Now, ah, just down here, might look a bit messy still, but I have got to fill the side skirts completely as they are as wavy as the sea, so they're going to take a fair bit of filler to sort out. But the rest of this is lovely and smooth. Also done this side. I've done inside this door as well. So that's both the rear wheel arches now finished off. And I have moved on to the rear, blending in the rear lenses. So I've started on this side mostly. I have uh, done a bit of bulk filling along the rest of it, but it's still very untidy at the moment. So this side I've started to add some shape into. So down here, just trying to follow the contour of the rear lights down into this uh, lower panel. And the same just here, starting to build up the shape of the wing where it blends into the rear quarter there. So it's a bit of slow progress, but it's starting to take shape now. I've got to build out this bottom bit till it meets up with this line on the bumper. So as you'll see if we go along or it's tucked under. So I've got to build it out quite a bit. And also where the lens sort of bolted onto the old boot garnish just here, it was lower down than the rest of the lights. So I've got a bit of a bulge here. So I've got to bring that out and try and make it look as smooth as possible uh, without it sort of looking like a lump. So got to sort the shut lines, got to fill in these gaps. Normally on a sunny, these would just be quite huge gaps, but they don't look very nice. So that's what they would look like, factory. So I've got to fill those in. And then when that is done, then we can move on to uh, filling in the duct tail. But I've got a fair way to go before we do that. But it's all starting to come together. Looking pretty cool. And then once all that filling at the rear is done. There still is lots more to do around the rest of the car to try and strain it all up. But I would like to get it into a filler primer first. So get it all one colour. And then I can guide coat it, flat it back and just sort of see how wavy the rest of the car is. I mean, I know it's quite bad. Because back in its rat look days, it did get quite beaten up. And that's why I always tended to paint it in a matte colour, so you couldn't see all the wobbles. But I would like it to be nice and shiny this time. Well, it was nice and shiny last time, but even shinier would be cool. So that's it for now. Thanks for tuning in. Catch you again next time. Cheers.